Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest 3 in the last episode. We made it to Baharata, but we didn't check it out yet, and there's one chest remaining on this floor. So let us look around town. As we have traveled east, yes. I don't think there's anything in here. Alright. So let us look around. Oh, so this place sells black pepper. Alright, so some new equipment that we can purchase here. Morning Star, if you got uh, warriors and such and all that. Giant Shears, you can purchase for a warrior. Four Staff, you can purchase for a wizard or a cleric, but it's not worth it because it uses MP for attack power. Steel Armor, I'll probably buy, and I'll pro more than likely buy those. Magic Shields, yes. I'll probably buy those after we're done, done here. This is an item shop, and they don't really have anything good to sell, except metal curves, which I might need. So let us go over here. Oh no, his daughter was kidnapped. Yeah, if you come talk to this guy, he'll tell you the staff of force. Yeah, but it's useful, I guess. I mean, if for some reason you had a uh, character who has MP but doesn't use the uh, stuff. So we got ourselves a traveler's clothes. Let us continue. That's not the treasure that the uh, thief was talking about. Or that the thief smell. Oh god. I think the treasure's over here. Oh, so the kidnappers live in a cave nearby. There we go. There is the item. What about in here? Anything good? There's one chest. Probably this thing. Yeah, yeah, sages are better than gestures, that's for sure. Yay, we get a small metal. Alright, let us continue. I purposely uh, did not go down towards the... Uh, towards the river because a little cutscene will happen. Yeah, oh, we have Pregos, huh? The Ganges River, yeah, so I guess this is supposed to be like India. Now if you look, 2477, let's look at her information. 132.79, so let's see if, yeah, sure. No, it doesn't do anything for you. I don't know what the hell it does. Oh, so Tanya is missing. The lad Goopa wants wants to marry her. Oh. So she's missing, and he wants someone to rescue her. Now Goopa's gonna go do it himself. He's probably gonna get kidnapped too. Well, I guess we'll be on the case. So, alright. So, it looks like this place has got an immediate threat. Let us... Let us, uh... I'm gonna purchase that equipment and be right back. Alright, I am back, and I purchased a black coat, and a black hood, and a magic shield for Iris. I didn't need to go outside and do anything. just had to sell some excess equipment. I bought steel armor, magic shield for Sophie. I bought her a magic shield, and I bought Ruby a magic shield. So we are all ready to go fight them kidnappers. What we want to do is go west. Or east, I'm sorry. East, and then north, and then wherever. And welcome to the basement floor of Kidnapper's Base. Now this is a very special area because in my original Let's Play of Dragon Quest 3 or Dragon Warrior 3, for some reason I did not, uh, it didn't record, I screwed up big time. So this is a redemption episode. Basically what we want to do is we start off, we head out from there and we head north. Now this place can be tricky because every little area kind of looks similar. So we want to head up north first off and grab all these chests. 
And this one's a candy box. Let's see if we can beat them. I'm just gonna show these battles. Because there's a slight chance I won't beat them. Or someone will die. Yeah, we're just gonna have Stella and Ruby Perry. Holy crap. You beat Sophie's face and alright, everyone attack. Hurry. Kill it, yes. Alright, we're good. Yeah, did I use the uh thing here? I think there is uh Yeah, so there's six chests in total. I love how uh, much quicker it is to use items in this game. Ah, what the hell, Ruby, you can get here. Alright, let's continue. Now we need to just head left. Pick up another treasure, which is a small metal. Pick up another treasure. More gold. And this one might be a candy box. Yes, it is. Let's see if we can beat it again. Everyone hit it as hard as you can. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so for some reason these guys attack like mothers. Like mother efforts. Thank goodness for all the metal herbs. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Alright, now from here you want to go south. And south. And just as south as possible. And we'll meet up with a soldier. This guy's been lost for years. Jeez. Yeah, so he heard... That That gives you a clue into knowing that when you get over here... Yeah, in the NES game you wouldn't know it, but there are doors there and you gotta open them. And here's the last treasure on this island. Or uh, in this cave. So let's use it. On Ruby. And continue. Now from there we want to head right. And we run into some new enemies, Shadowers. We could run into these guys over in um in the pyramid, but we, I just didn't end up running into them. These guys are pretty much really easy. They can cast stop spell and stuff. So yeah, from here we want to head here. And this way. Now if we smell. There's actually seven chests on this floor. Crazy. Agility seed. Yeah, I'm per pretty much probably going to give stuff to Ruby except for wisdom seeds. And a life note. Nothing. Alright. So let's use agility seed, Ruby. Wisdom Seed, Sophie. Strength Seed, Ruby. And Life Nut, uh... Ruby, why the hell not? Alright, let's go. And South, and yes, this is where I left off in the old NES version. I totally screwed up. So, I'm probably gonna make this a video response as well. Are you thinking about joining us? Hell no. Now, my good friend W... Well, I'll explain this later. But now we gotta fight four henchmen. And these guys... <coughs> excuse me. Should be pretty easy. Because we have whips. But if you don't, use uh, multi-purpose... Or multi-targeting spells. And yeah, they will cast defense. Oh, Lord. But we should be pretty good. These guys shouldn't be too too much more. Oh, boy. Oh, they cast heal more. Interesting. All right. Yeah, we're almost done. Yay! Take this, henchman. 
don't know who you're henching for, but we're gonna end you now. And we get a hundred experience. Alright, so now make sure to look on these bags over here. That's something new to this game, too. You can search the satchels. And we get a Pachisi ticket, but where are those other two treasures? Well, we will find them pretty soon. Oh, so yes, that must be Tanya. Well, she, it is Tanya. And Goopa. Please set us free. Sure. Oh, you know what? The bo Basically, if we search over here, we get a Luxie. And I'm going to give that to uh, Sophie. And yay, they're dancing. Yeah, now you guys can go home and make babies. And all that good stuff. Well, you can thank me by giving me pepper. But anyways, you can't come over here unless you actually do the Tower of Champagne. And yay, we get a Mystic Nut. I think I'm going to give that to Sophie as well. More magic for her to do her magic thing. She's not doing too bad. Now, let's make sure to give everyone a couple of items. Because we're coming up to a boss battle. But yeah, basically my good friend WBalls03, uh... He told me that if you come here now, before you go do something else... Basically, if you haven't played this game, we're gonna be fighting Kandar, alright? Alright, it's not much that spoiler. I mean, this game's not for forever. So yeah, we're gonna be fighting Kandar. He's the capture, and he, uh... He, you basically can't come and do this part until you go do the Tower of Champagne, because he said the boss... The boss is over at the tower or whatever, so that's... So let's, yeah, now let's use the metal curve to make sure everyone's at full health. Or around full health. What about Ruby? Alright, we're pretty set to go. Oh no, it's Kandar again. Save me, Sophie! Please, we must help Tanya. I don't... Alright, I guess. Yeah, we're here again. And he's gonna try to finish this off for good. So now, Kandar and his henchmen. So, just like before, let's take out his henchmen first. And Kandar is a tad stronger now, but... So is his, so are we. I think Kandar's got like something like 600 HP. Yeah, you're almost, oh damn it, you. Oh well, maybe he was healing Kandar, I don't know. Alright, let's see, do I have anything? No. I don't have any kind of defense or anything. Oh well. We're doing pretty good damage. Oh. Alright, Ruby, if you're following directions, you'll heal up Sophie. Follow directions, damn it. Do it. Yay, you did it. All right, Ruby, use a metal blurb on yourself. This isn't right, Kandar. You're hitting innocent women. Oh, damn it. You didn't even use it. There we go. He's almost dead. He's got to be pretty close to dead now. Yeah, this is just a long battle because we don't have any spells or anything. Hit him for more damage. Oh, yeah. Now, you see that? That was a move that she does where she juggles rocks. I get. Oh, damn, I used on the wrong person. She juggles rocks, and she can either hit herself, or she can hit, um... She can hit... Monsters. Now, if she doesn't end up hitting monsters, 
those attacks ignore defense, so you could actually use them for, uh, for killing metal monsters. I wonder, uh, I wonder if I've said that before. I might have. But he's gotta be damn near dead. Kandar takes a beating. Yay! Look at that strength defense, or strength boost. And she learns shop call. What? Call? I think it was call shop. Oh, uh, no, I can't spare you. Fine, it's a but thou must. You gotta let him go. Bye. Yeah, he'll never forget our kindness. Now they're gonna go back. Please drop by anytime. But will we ever get a ship or the black pepper? We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.